a.m. and I'm going to show you how to iron a tutu because I'm dropping the tutorial to this and I don't want you to burn your tutu like how I did because it's very not satisfying at all to burn your tutu and then you have to clean it off the eye. It doesn't matter. You're going to take your tutu. This is right side up. You're going to flip it over and you're going to take your iron. You're going to turn it to the absolute bottom and I'm doing this on the floor just because I want it to be completely round and flat. It's not at the moment. And before I do put the iron on the tutu, I'm just going to do a heat test, it's fine. Um, and I'm going to just turn it up just a tiny bit. When you turn it up, you turn it up very slowly. You don't want to burn your tutu. Taking the tutu, laying it, laying it as flat as possible, and you want to check the edges that there's, they're not bent, especially the, this bottom layer here. You don't want this bottom last layer to be like bent like this. You want it to be flat. Yeah, that was not. Um, we're gonna flip it over after and iron from the top because the top is where you see everything. This is the bottom, you don't see everything. So that's why we're starting from the bottom. And we're gonna take the iron, place it flat and go out. Yeah, you're just gonna press it out and you're gonna test the heat. That's not really hot. So I'm gonna turn it up just a tiny bit. You want to be very careful turning it up because, once again, you don't want to burn the tutu. Have I specified that enough? Probably not. I'm going to do that a couple times all the way around. It's very tedious. It's very time consuming. Not really, actually. It probably takes like 10 minutes tops, but um, it's boring. If you're too scared to actually iron this, you can turn the heat up a lot. Do not touch the iron to the tutu, but just puff it. It's not going to puff now because it's not hot enough, but just, you know, steam it. Steam it from like above and maybe just run your hand on it after, or something like that, so, yeah. I'm gonna turn it up just a tiny bit more because I still don't feel like it's hot enough, and I wanna make this as flat and pancakey as possible. Now that it looks pretty, uh, pretty good, we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing from the other side because, of course, we have to top looks terrible. Adjust a bit. Um, you want to be careful that the bottom is not bent because it's a lot more layers facing down this way that have the potential to look terrible. So yeah, you're just going to quickly adjust everything. Make sure nothing is bent. And overlap the pieces that need overlapping. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Once again, always check the heat. You don't wanna be burning your tutu because that is just the absolute worst. Did I mention that? Did I mention that you might burn your tutu? I think it's looking pretty good. Please ignore my absolute mess. That's my ballet bag. I was just getting it ready. Um, once that's done, if you feel like it still looks pretty terrible, you can <laughs> flip it over, repeat, and then flip it back and repeat. Um, if not, you can go ahead, ruin everything that we just did by crumpling it like this, folding it in half, folding it in a quarter, and packing it away to bring it with you somewhere. Um, that prevents it from looking really disheveled, especially since we just flattened it out, so folding it in half. You can even... Don't do that, don't do that, actually. <laughs> you can either go ahead and pack it as a quarter tutu, or just hang it. And that's it, that's how you, that is how you, um, that's how you iron a tutu.